All right, welcome back. Uh, next, we're going to look at Chapter 15, Problem 7, on page 651 in Anderson 11E. Uh, this is another question dealing with multiple regression. We're going to start with a simple linear regression. We're going to introduce a second variable, and then we're going to use the estimated regression equation to make a prediction about uh, a particular example. Um, let me read the question first, and then we'll move on to the data. PC World rated four component characteristics for ten ultra-portable laptop computers. Features, performance, design, and price. Each characteristic was rated using a 0 to 100 point scale. An overall rating, uh, referred to as the PCW World rating, was then developed for each laptop. The following table shows the performance rating, features rating, and the PCW World rating for the ten laptop computers. Uh, this, uh, these data were taken from the PC World website in February of 2009. Part A, determine the estimated regression equation that can be used to predict the PCW world rating using the performance rating as the independent variable. So, right now we have, uh, what we, that's the first problem we're dealing with. Let's look at our data to see what we have. Okay, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, actually we can do this, 10. 10 data points. Uh, and then for each one, we have a performance measure, a features measure, and a PCW rating. And it tell us the other parts. Um, but this first question is asking us to look only at performance rating and the PCW world rating. So we're looking at this as our output, whatever our, our uh, dependent variable, PCW rating. And our regressor, or explanatory variable, is going to be this performance rating over here. Uh, and these are our different models. Um, in order to try to develop this estimated regression equation, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to use our data analysis tool pack, which if you haven't installed and enab or enabled it, uh, look at one of our earlier videos, the walkthrough part two, I believe, uh, explains how to enable the data tool, tool pack. Once you've done that, in your data tab, if you're not sure if you have, uh, in your data tab you should have an analysis panel with a data analysis button. If you don't, you need to enable your data analysis tool pack. Uh, if you do, then you're right with me. So let's click Data Analysis, um, and then it gives us our analysis tools. The one we're going to be using right now is Regression. So click OK. We're going to be doing a regression. Uh, and I did a previous problem, so a lot of these are filled out. But let's erase those. Uh, in our input Y range, we want to put our dependent variable, the variable we're trying to explain. Uh, in this case, that's our PCW rating, PC World rating. Um, so put your cursor in input Y range, or click on the, on the shrink button and select this data right here, this column. Inclu I'm including the label. Uh, and you can see that D1 through D11 are selected. Uh, click that, and you'll see that it's in there. OK, right now, our X only includes performance. So we're going to select this column, column B, B1 through B11. We're not going to select features. We'll do that in part B. Um, we want to let the, the computer know, let Excel know that we have included our labels. And we're going to have the output out to a new worksheet. That's the easiest, easy way to do this. And we'll, I'm going to call this performance perf only, um, just to indicate that this is the output for a model with only performance included. Not interested in residuals right now or normal probability plots. So once we have labels checked and perf only checked or typed in, we can click OK. And now we have a new worksheet, new worksheet with our out regression output. I like to double click A, whatever. If you double click that, that line right there, auto. It increases the width automatically to fit everything. Uh, and we can see here's our output, right? We have our regression statistics, including our R-square. We have our ANOVA, which gives us the F, F statistic and our mean square error. Um, but for now, what we are interested in is we is the, uh, the table down here. We have coefficients. That's th those are what we care about in order to develop an estimated regression equation. So I'm going to switch over to my pen, since I have one. And whenever we're doing an estimated regression equation, we're always looking for an equation that looks like this. y hat equals beta 0 plus beta 1 x1. Uh, and if we had more than one co uh, explanatory variable, we would add beta 2 x2, beta 3 x3, and so on and so forth. Right now, we only have one x, so we're only going to use one, one coefficient there. Uh, in this case, we have used the computer to estimate our, uh, our beta 0 and beta 1. And so we have B0 is 66.06, .06, and B1 is 0 0.167, 0 0.17. So our estimated uh, equation is y hat equals 66.06 .06 
plus 0 0.16 or 0 0.17. It's definitely going to be rounded up. 170 times x, where x is the performance rating. You can write performance in here instead if you want. Uh, either way is acceptable. Uh, but that's our estimated regression equation. We have our two co we have our two estimates. Plug those into this y hat formula. That gives us our our equation. All right, so that's part A. Let's go back to the problem. Click on the problem tab. We can see part B. Determine the estimated regression equation that can be used to predict the PCW world rating using both the performance rating and the features rating. Okay, we have more information than we used in this model. If we look at our data, we see that we did not include our features as an explanatory variable. So part B is asking us to look at what, what it would look like if we did. Uh, we can do this pretty straightforward, same as we did before. Click on data analysis. Make sure you select regression and click OK. Our input range is already, it stays the same, so that's going to still be in there. For our X range, you can see that right now it has just column B selected. What we want is B and C. And if you click and drag, it automatically inserts B1 to C11, uh, which is what we want. And we still have labels, and we're going to change the name of the new worksheet. I'm going to call this full model because we have all of our explanatory variables included. Um, and I don't care about the rest of the stuff for now. Click OK. And now we have our new output. OK. New output table. Just widen these so that stuff fits. And I'll scroll down a little bit just so it's a little bit more central. OK. Again, uh, it's asking us to come up with an estimated regression equation, which means that we want an equation that looks something like this. Y hat equals B0 plus b1x1 plus b2x2 because we have k regressors and k is 2 right here because we have 1, performance is 1, and features is 2. Those are our two regressors so that means that k, k is equal to the number of regressors we have. Okay, now we have estimates for b0, b1, and b2. They're down here. b0 is going to be 39.98, b1 is 0 0.11 and B2 is 0 0.38 so we can write our estimated regression equation. It's going to be Y hat, that's a terrible Y, my apologies, 39.98 plus 0 0.113 times performance or X1, whichever you prefer, and plus take that and add 0 0.38 Eight two times features. All right, that's our estimated regression equation. Um, you can see just taking a look, you know, forty is the base score with the zero in performance and the zero in features. Uh, it looks like features are about uh, four times three to four times as important, three and a half times as important as performance uh, in deciding the ultimate sc the the total score. Um, F statistic tells us that this regression is significant, and then we have our individual T statistics. Uh, all the p-values are below 05. They're all significant. Um, yeah, that's part B. There's a lot more we could do here. You see the R squared is 84%, so this explains quite a bit of variation. Uh, but the part that answers the question part B is just this thing right in here. This is what we really care about for now, the regression equation. Okay, let's go back to the problem. Stop inking. Go back to the problem. Part C wants us to predict the PCW world rating for a laptop computer with a performance rating of 80 and a features rating of 70. I'm just going to copy this and paste it over here so that we can see it while we're working. Uh, I'm going to drag this so it's a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, so I scrolled down a little bit just to give us some more room. We, got, we still have the coefficients that we need. If you want to see the equation, it's right there. It's this plus this times performance plus this times features. Uh, and there are a couple ways to do this, right? The one way to do it is to hard code it. So we can do equals to tell us that it's a formula. And we're going to type 39.982. That's the coefficient. I'm getting that from right here. Plus, and then our coefficient, or that's our intercept, I'm sorry. 39.982 is our intercept. Plus our coefficient on performance, 0 0.113 times our performance rating. 
80 plus 0 0.382, it's B2, uh, times our features rating. And we press enter, and we get an estimate in PCW world rating of 75.762. That's hard coding it. We can also use uh, cell references, which <coughs> I prefer because it allows you to see where the data is coming from, where your numbers are coming from. So we're gonna, it's going to be equal our intercept, which is B17, plus performance coefficient times our performance rating, which comes from the question. I'm going to hard type that. That's right, that's right here. But I'm going to type it in. In numbers uh, and then plus our features rating which is right here are our coefficient on features rating times 70 okay okay so that gives us 75.794 uh, if you don't round that's more what you'll get another way we can do this is we can actually enter we can do all cell references by turning our question into data so performance rating features rating 80 and 70 and here we have uh, PCW world rating this is probably the best way to do it because then you can adjust things if you want here again we're going to use cell references so this is equals B17 plus B18 times performance rating plus B19 which is our features coefficient times our features rating now you can see that in here we have nothing but references, and the color coding here shows us where they're coming from. If we hit enter, it should give us exactly the same value as we had here, but now it gives us the ability to adjust these. So if we wanted to look at a performance rating of 75, hey, that we can see how that changes things. 80, if we had 90 and 90, 100 perfect scores in both. Uh, okay, it's still only an 89, so that tells us a little bit of something about the the ways in which these will change if we adjust these numbers. But to answer question C, what we want is a performance rating of 80 and a features rating of 70. And this would be the PCW world rating. All right, thank you very much. That's how you solve chapter 15, problem 7. Uh, and I'll be posting another question soon, so stay tuned. Thanks.